Elon reposted this to his main timeline so tens of millions of people will see it. Move your company out of Delaware before they lock the doors as they did with TripAdvisor. The TripAdvisor issue is not new though. This article is from last year. It was published in May. At first, this seems like bad news for Tesla in Europe, but actually it is not. France paused an EV subsidy program for 2024, citing an unexpected influx of applicants. The reason why I think this will not really impact Tesla is because you have to be super low income to qualify. And uh, to qualify for these incentives, automakers took Macron's price targets and managed to bring those prices down even further, providing eligible drivers with EV lease options as low as $43 with free charging included. I think Tesla customers make more than just $1,500 a month. And it seems like cash incentives are not going away. So yeah, this shouldn't do much impact to Tesla really. And probably no impact at all. GM confirms that 2024 Chevy Equinox will start at $35,000 or $27,500 after the federal EV tax credit with 319 miles of range. It will be available later in 2024. It is definitely something to watch and pay attention to, but also let's not forget that this $35,000 price tag is significantly above GM's earlier promise of a $30,000 price tag. Here are prices by trim and it goes as high as $46,795. And the cheapest trim, it actually should have 300 miles of range. Omar laid out his thoughts about how much did Elon's tweets impact Tesla sales negatively. And his conclusion basically is, well, in 2022, Tesla sales grew 40% over 2021 levels, and in 2023, they grew 38% over 2022 levels. We can therefore quantify the impact of Tesla sales growth from all factors at less than 2%. Now, of course, we saw higher interest rates, lower credit availability, tighter consumer budgets, etc., etc., etc. And in China, we saw the continued ramifications of the property bubble bursting. I actually have some friends in uh, Shanghai and... Uh, they tell me some horror stories. Omar guesses that Musk's tweets impacted Tesla sales growth less than 1%. I think it is more than 1%. But there is no Twitter in China. No Chinese person has access to Twitter. So therefore, sales over there should not have been affected, is the argument. But over here in the US, there is no BYD. There is no serious competition in china there is competition and that competition is getting bigger in china but not so much overseas omar says if it were true that people were refusing to buy a tesla because they hate musk they would not buy even at a lower price i don't think that really is fully true i mean if you truly hate musk yeah i agree with that but there are many people that just dislike elon so someone like that would still buy a Tesla at a lower price. But I think there's a lot of truth in this statement from Omar. I think that when people say, Elon, you have to shut up, you are tanking sales. What they really mean is, you have to shut up, I don't like what you are saying. I don't think that's true in every case, but in many cases, it certainly is. Also, as you know, Elon tweeted this incredibly offensive tweet. Uh, people that love cats have been losing their minds and some of them swore to never buy Tesla again because Elon loves puppies and not cats. So maybe Omar is right. It's time for the Tesla board to step in. Musk's tweets are turning off cat lovers. I have a friend who is a crazy cat lady with 17 cats. She just bought a Fisker instead of a Tesla because of this tweet. I guess cat owners get really offended when they see that Tesla has a dog mode, but not a cat mode. <laughs> Troy did a poll. He asked people, how do you think political controversy on Twitter affects Tesla sales in the US and in Europe? 6% of the people think it affects the sales positively. 22% uh, of the people roughly think there's no effect. And then the rest think there's some negative effect. Omar himself also agrees that there is some negative effect, but he thinks the effect is very, very small. So I think the debate is just about how big is the effect. I personally think it's not big enough to justify kicking out Elon from Tesla. Definitely not.